Welcome back, folks. Hope you're having a great week. In this video, we are going to explore one of my favorite features on O-Gauge model trains. The whistle and the horn. I think most of us can relate to the excitement of listening to these model trains when we get them on the track. Am I right? If you hand me the remote, you better believe it's the first button I'm going to press. Every single time. So many locomotives have been defined by the sound of their whistle or their horn. And we are about to listen to a ton of different whistles and horns from a variety of different locomotives. You ready? Turn your volume up to 11 and sit back, relax, and enjoy. Before we listen to all of these together, I want to know, what is your favorite? Do you prefer whistles or horns? And do you have a favorite? There's all kinds of variations out there. It gets really technical. It goes way above my head. Leave me a comment and let me know which is your favorite. I have categorized this video into three different sections. Steam whistles, followed by my favorite whistles, and finally, diesel horns. In O-Gage, we have to mention the iconic sounds of the post-war era whistle tenders. Anyone who is familiar with Lionel is transported back in time when you hear this nostalgic sound. This is my favorite engine in my collection. As I've said many times, RBP the broken record. The post-war 773 Hudson. Still looking for the 1950 version, but this 1964 is equipped with the 1950 whistling tender, which delivers the exact sound I'm talking about. And we can't talk about vintage Lionel engines without mentioning the wild sounds of the MPC era. These mighty sounds of steam, as they were known, are always fun in small doses. <laughs> Lionel made some serious progress in the 90s with these TMCC era whistles. TMCC, of course, stands for Train Master Command Control, which was revolutionary at the time. I always like to listen to these early Hudsons of that era. One of them being the CNO Yellow Belly Hudson. And the other, the New York Central Commodore Vanderbilt. All of this brings us to the modern O-Gauge engines that we're going to hear in this video. The audio technology has advanced so much over the years. We even have locomotives with air raid sirens in them now. Time to dig in. Let's listen to some steam whistles. Those of you watching who may be new to O-Gauge trains and have no idea what I'm doing and why there's a third rail, you may notice a couple of features like smoking whistles or swinging bells. Just one more reason to try O-Gauge if you can. Hmm? Steam whistles are my favorite. They're like the voice of the engine. I mean, each engine has its own personality through the whistle. Is that a weird analogy? Whatever. Just roll the footage.
Let's stay on the whistle kick and listen to some of my personal favorites. The Lionel Strasberg 90 was one of the most anticipated engines of 2023, and the sounds did not disappoint. The whistle on this engine was recorded using the real locomotive in Strasburg, Pennsylvania, and they even captured the famous ghost whistle. The Hudson is my all-time favorite locomotive, and the New York Central is my favorite railroad. So it only makes sense that these next two engines made it to my favorites list. First is the Dreyfus Hudson. Following this is the New York Central Niagara. This MTH Premier Shea locomotive is one of the most unique looking engines in the collection, but it also has one of the coolest sounding whistles. Check this out.
The next engine on my favorites list really needs no introduction. This engine continues to be crowned as the king of the layout, the Union Pacific Big Boy. This Vision Line Edition has the loudest and meanest whistle of any engine in the collection, and it continues to win every whistle battle that I've ever tried to make in a video. The last favorite on my list is actually not a steam engine. This is the Lionel Amtrak Acela set. It's sleek and fast and a train that I ride frequently. And it has a cool horn. This leads us to the diesel horn section of this video. I'm actually going to start this section with a steam locomotive, the Pennsylvania Railroad S1. This one causes a lot of confusion because the real-life prototype was equipped with a horn and not a whistle. Listen to this.
Well, this was a fun video to make, and it did a number on my ears. I hope you enjoyed listening to all of these whistles and horns. Definitely the most exciting part of the hobby for me when it comes to running the trains themselves. As always, a huge thank you to all of my subscribers and everyone who's been supporting this channel. My name is Chris, and this is RBP Trains. We'll see you next time.